Let's get straight to the point. Batting in cricket used to be crap. WG Grace was so much better than everyone else. I was the OG. Yet even in his prime, he had years where he averaged 28 and 32. Not because of the bowling, that was fairly basic, but because the pitchers were massive turds. And that's largely down to the fact that in order to make them grow, you had to sprinkle little bits of cow poop on them. So when overarm bowling finally won over the MCC, the ball would seam around off little chunks of dookie. You can see why that was a problem, but when machines like muck spreaders came along, we had liquid turds, which would grow the grass without spoiling a good length. It's hard to give an exact date when dung went juicy, but by 1898 it was used in places as far-fetched as Launceston. So clearly the idea, much like the substance itself, had spread quickly. Oh poop. It wasn't all smooth sailing for the magic number two. The MCC sent out a circular saying that it was ruining cricket. Of course it was. It was that point that cricket went from a bowler's game to one for the batsman. But think about it this way. Our pitches used to be shit until our shit got better. Like, yo, I'm really talking about poop out here.